Well, let's run some material through the Gold Fox Trommel, and we'll also talk about this flocculent stuff. Does it really work? Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. Uh, today I'm going to run some material that I got up at Meadview. Uh, got it down in one of the washes, just doing a little bit of testing. I want to see if there's any gold in there. I filled there. me up a couple buckets of dirt. I didn't classify it down, so it's got rocks and anything, everything else in it. So I'm going to run it through the Gold Fox Trommel, and uh, we'll see if I got any gold. And I'm also going to test this uh, this flocculent. This is Geo Sluice. Uh, Geo Clear Flocculent put out by Geo Sluice. We're going to test this, see if this stuff really does work. Anyways, I uh, want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. If you're not one of my subscribers, please reach down right now. Subscribe to the channel. Sure, appreciate that. My Patreon supporters and channel supporters, I appreciate all you guys. I'll leave your guys as a thank you in the credits at the end of the video. But I want to thank you guys for coming along, sharing on these adventures, and let's just see if we can get us a little bit of color today. Thanks for coming along, guys. Two buckets here. Good old dirt here. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Nice looking we'll stuff. We'll have this bucket holder. I haven't put this on yet. I mounted this on. This will mount on and then it'll sit there and it'll hold my buckets for me so I don't have to sit there and just shovel into it. But that's kind of cool. cool little picture. It's cut out of a fox right there. Yeah, that's a little cool. I'll show you this trommel. Let me show you this here. A while back, you know, when you take your wing nuts and different things off and you just set them on the ground, then you can lose them. So he sent me this here device here. That's kind of cool. What this is, you can screw this in. This is a magnet. It sticks. This thing will lift right up here, but you can just put your screws in there. And it'll stick right on there. When it's done, just push it down, screw it on, take it with you. Cool, cool design. I got an app on my phone, but the ideal level is somewhere between 8 to 10 inches maybe. Somewhere around in there, I'm going to assume. This here is 8.4. It's got a pitch on it, so that should be just about. I want cool features on this trommel. See, it's just clipped down right here, so you can take all of this plumbing all the way apart. It's not permanently attached. If it gets plugged, you do have a bolt plug here. You can pull that out to clean that That's out. an adjustable gate right here, so you can decide how much material you want to let through or how big a rock you want to let through. I like to kind of wash my rocks a little bit, hold them back before I let them go on through There's there. There's right here. This is a hog mat. You got a nugget trap up in there and some... And another uh, punch plate. I think that's probably three eighths. Uh, to let all the gold go down. There's a mat underneath that thing up in there. But I'll show you that when we clean this thing. Let's up not there. forget this cool little cup holder right there, so you can put your drinks in it. You know that's very important right put there. Something in there. That's so not likely, but what the? I've heck? got two twenty-two hundred GPH pumps on that there, so I'm going to be using that there to recirculate and I got me a tub full of water so I'm just going to recirculate It's also the water. something cool by Gold Fox. This little backpack series here. This will all fold up right in here. It's got a rechargeable battery right here. Comes with this here. Uh, got a rheostat so you can adjust it. But that just plugs right in. Rechargeable battery. It's very lightweight. You can just haul this with you into the back countries. So it just all just folds up. Really a slick little, cool little Material design Material I right get here. out of this one mat, I can just pan that out. But if I were to run several buckets or like at the end of the day have a dredge or dry washer and have a lot of material, then I could run them through this machine right here and that'd be slick for a little cleanup machine. Or, like I said, backpack it back into those secret spots. Well, let me go ahead and fire this on up here. Let's make sure that's all going to work good. I think I've got one pump that's not working up there. And you've got a shutoff valve too on there, so you can't control the flow of the water. Let's see, one of these is not going to work. One of them, I believe, has a short in it. I got emptied every time it gets full. 
that hole out that I don't need to add in there. You can tell when it's even because the water's coming off evenly right through here. There's one bucket down. I wonder if I should do a little clean up here. Maybe I'll, no, I'll run the other bucket. What the hell, a nice cold bucket. Yeah, nice dirt in there. Mmm, good dirt, huh? You smell the gold, can't you? Mm. Well, here's a bad habit to get into. You got to check the bucket to empty this. Bucket after, run one bucket, dump one bucket. So it overfills and then it gets inside here and then you get all this muck in here and then that starts plugging your pump up. You should always check your buckets. Make sure you've got to dump it on time. I like these, uh, how they're opened up like that. It doesn't have all the little holes in here. When you're recirculating and you just got all these holes, they'll plug up in a hurry with all the weeds and debris. So these things are pretty cool to just have this spray like that there. It's a lot better design. I'm still getting material here, so I'll let this clean out for a moment, let that run. All right, well, that's cleaning itself out. Let me show you how this uh, flocculent stuff works. that water is all the way through mud now it doesn't take much of this just a couple little drops a couple shakes of this put just a couple little shakes in look how clear it is can you see that how clear that is look at all the dirt all that muck and mud settled out went right to the bottom see that So the next day I can start and have clean water again. That's this stuff right here. This is GeoClear flocculent water systems. Okay, the very back. Wing nut off first. Now this is what I 
I'm talking about. You know, this little thing right here that just captures your, your nuts and bolts so they don't get lost. Pretty cool, huh? Just from the up that upper mat will give me a good indication if there's any gold in there or not. This is like a sponge. Stretch that all out. Give it to release there, everything in there. Set that aside. black sands anyway so it's always a good sign when you see black sands it's chunky black sands too so that's another good sign all right let's just take a little peek there's some of these larger rocks oh yeah look at that i see gold i see gold i see gold let me show you this close up of this well it's nothing major but there's gold in there. See a little bit of fines and a couple little chunkier pieces. It is gold. Gold is gold. It's not bad, I guess, huh? I'll show you a close up of it. Here, this is where the nugget trap's at down there. got a bend to get it to release some of those uh, dirt and heavy gold to get stuck between those ripples in there. Okay, now what I want to do, I need to clean my machine out a little bit. So let me give it a little bit of juice here. Sand, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to take it all the way down. Just, that should be good. Take a little peek. See what we get. See what we get. See what we get. Oh, I see gold, anyways. Oh, a little bit more gold. Yeah, let me show you that. Uh, let's see. So you can see that in there. Kind of hard to do that this way. See the gold. 
Some nice little, nice little pieces in there. Not bad though, huh? Not bad. I'll show you a close up of that. Now it's always important to put your mats back after as soon as you're done. The sooner the better. If you don't, they'll tend to warp on you. Well, that's the gold fox trommel. And there was a little bit of gold in there, so two buckets. I guess it's not too bad for two buckets unclassified. I can always go back. That was in the bottom of the wash on the caliche layer. So uh, there is gold there, but hey, got me some gold. Get out there and get yourself some of that shiny little gold. Hey, thanks for coming along, guys, sharing on these adventures. Uh, that trommel, that uh, gold fox trommel, this pretty slick little design. I'll leave you a link down below. In case you want more information about them from the manufacturer but i really like that machine uh they're a good company they stand by their products and uh, they've always treated me right anyways i want to thank you guys coming along sharing all these adventures so get out there get yourself some of this shiny little gold and until our paths cross again thanks for watching everyone <laughs>